two-headed gingerbread man. Oh, is that because Tasmanians have two heads? Probably. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm from Tasmania and Classic I, had to, I had to deal with that a lot. Where's your uh, scarf? Hilarious. Yeah. Jokes on you, yeah. Tasmania is awesome. How extra is that? Cocktails from Taylor and Smith. It's got the beautiful sourdough bread, Elf and Grove popcorn with fennel salt at the moment. Dog and Wolf Pinot's new. What else is new? Your potato there? chips were the only thing that weren't Tasmanian. That's have correct. You? Uh, they still the only thing that aren't Tasmanian. And then one bottle of wine that's French rose. Oh, okay. If you know about Bandol rose, you know about Bandol rose. Okay, I shall allow it, even yeah. though they're not Tasmanian. 98% Tasmanian. 98%. Tasmanian. <laughs> Because you're quite low lying, so yeah. the exposed beams. Yeah, they were originally painted white, so we couldn't take those off, unfortunately. But so we painted it dark, but it all fits in very well. It does. And that view in the morning really. when you pull up those blinds and um, all the tides in, it's very special. We better enjoy this room then. Yeah, enjoy your stay. Can, <laughs> can I send you up some oysters? Stop I, I, I wouldn't, heard I wouldn't say no. Like a couple of oysters. I'll send a few up. <laughs> For a welcome drink. Oh my gosh, I love this place so much. Cheers. Do you know what I like most about this is they email you before you check in and they're like, what can we do to make your stay, you know, a little bit better? And they heard on the grapevine, John, that you love oysters. I love oysters more than anything. <laughs> so they've arranged oysters for you. So good. That is just the best thing I've ever heard. Well, you know what I'm gonna eat, right? Popcorn. Oh my god. Loves the popcorn. This is literally the tastiest. Mm -hmm. Fire out. Fire out. Salted caramel popcorn, chocolate coated raspberries, freeze dried blueberries, two headed gingerbread man. Oh, is that because Tasmanians have two heads? Probably. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm from Tasmania and I had, to, I had to deal with that a lot. Where's uh, your scarf? Hilarious. Yeah. Jokes on you, yeah. Tasmania is awesome. Oh, this is my favorite drawer as well. This is what hey. I love, yep. But how beautiful is that? Peppermint English breakfast. So good. I haven't even opened the fridge yet. Would you like to see? Yes. Cheese. Savory Bay goodness. Bay five cheese. Double cream, Lighthouse Cheese Company. Beauty. Look at that. We what basically array. got our own grazing plate. This we is do. actually ridiculous. Well, I think you should get out of the fridge okay. because we've got stuff oh. on the table. Okay, okay, okay. Do you want an oyster? Sure. Oh my god, yum. Jono, this is for you. To be honest, I don't want to. I'll drink more champagne if you eat more oysters. <laughs> Thank you. 
Time to go. Time to go. Oh, it smells good already. Hello. Everyone I've spoken to that if they're not familiar with Stillwater 7, the yep. accommodation, everyone's familiar with Stillwater. That's right. <laughs> everyone's like, the food is ridiculous. Well, so, the, the restaurant's actually been here for 21 years now. Yeah, had to make my mark. So what we decided to do was to renovate. The kitchen was then 10 years old. So we renovated the kitchen. Yeah, right. And we renovated the front and we launched with a new menu, new chef, that kind of thing. Yeah. And it's sort of been up and up from there. <laughs> Well, we changed the menu reasonably regularly, so nothing's really sticking around for long to become a signature dish, but probably at the moment it's our beef dish on the, on the mains menu. Yeah, right. it's, a, it's a Koji aged diet fillet of Cape Green beef, and that's with some locally grown grilled mushrooms. Pretty oh, simple description, but quite complex in its, yeah. in its execution. So. Oh my yeah, so I recommend that one for Yeah. And um, possibly the fish with exo sauce and celery. That literally might be what you like order. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. And for a starter, have the prawn dumplings. They fly oh, at the door, Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Bit more mold. Yeah. All right, beautiful. And dry, dry. Lemon or olive? Olive. 100%. And sparkling, still sparkling. Funny. Yeah, bass straight scallops that have been baked in their half shell. And you have a paprika lemon butter, a rugar caviar, or the little black dots, and then crisp salt push. Can't talk, scalloping. Oh my goodness, I love it. Thank you so much. Oh look, I'm, this is not Master Chef, okay? This is hunting for George. Until there's food and wine involved, and then it's like, get out of the way. I think it's time to get into it. All right, get in. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. All right, see ya. Ah, did you sleep well, Jono? Yeah, I did. Mm, me too. It was very comfy bed. <sighs> I know. I'm still floating on a champagne-infused cloud, <laughs> and it's going to continue today. So today we are actually experiencing um, a brand new experience that Stillwater are offering. Stillwater Seven are offering. It's called, and wait for it. Every day I'm tripling. I don't know if it comes with that song, but it's basically all about truffles and it's about to start now. We're like waiting patiently for our breakfast to arrive, which I believe is gonna have some shaved truffles over our eggs. And um, later today, Sarah and James from Experiential Tasmania are gonna be meeting us and they're gonna take us on a truffle adventure. You ready for this? Yeah. Here we go again. I'm always ready. <laughs> Part of the everyday I'm truffling experience. It's all part of the everyday I'm truffling experience. <laughs> a little bit of shaved truffle on there for breakfast as well. Oh my God. I don't know where to start. Where are you going to start? You start Coffee, at the start and bloody finish Mary, it all. Eggs, truffle. All of my favourite things That's are so on good. this table. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God, look at these truffles. <laughs> Truffle infused and shaved eggs. All right, let's go start our new adventure. I'm so excited for today. We are so excited to have you. Chris and I have pulled together this itinerary, but we've been to both these places Amazing. numerous times, but we're putting together a really special package. Yeah, don't need to bring anything. We'll just hit the road and we're going to uh, head to Tamar Valley Truffles first to get our truffle on, and which is about 15 minute drive from here. And Marcus is there, he's a legend. He's wow. such a nice guy. And then um, from there, we'll be there about an hour, yep. and then we'll head up to Stony Ride and meet Lou. Oh. And she's just lovely. 
So when do you get your truffle then? What's truffle season? Uh, beginning of June, middle of June, through right. till September. These guys have no idea um, how they grow or anything. They know anything about it? Yeah, so there's, there's no, yeah. Set, tell us everything. Well, let's, yeah. go, let's go for a walk in the we, paddock. Yeah. So we prune them heavily every couple of years to keep the sunlight in. So they're, they're north, south. And you can see the morning sun's on this side of the tree. Yeah, right. And then right. the sun will go over in the afternoon, it'll come on the other side of the tree. So the summer truffles you harvest in the summertime, and they are black on the outside and yellow on the inside. And then a winter truffle is black on the outside and the inside, but okay. they op opposite seasons as such. Right, and black so you still bright. eat? You can still no. eat it, but it's not, not it's as not strong. It's not as good as a winter. It's just as good, it's not as strong a flavour. Okay. So All it's right. a different flavour. And I think the a black truffle per kilo is how much? Yeah, so let's just say black truffle is $3,000 a kilo. And then the summer truffle might be a thousand dollars a kilo. Okay. So the right. value is not as high. But for example. Oh, shush you. you look <laughs> They're like, what's happening? You, you can see it, you can see a little lump there. Sorry, where? There. Oh yes, okay. So this will be a winter truffle. But that's what Marcus is looking for. That, that literally mound in the ground. But do you have dogs that do that yeah. or are you your own sniffer dog, Marcus? No, 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 no. So we have a dog <laughs> that, that'll come in all week long. Um, and harvest or mark them and harvest them. Oh my goodness. I'm like, I'm not standing on anything yeah. valuable, am I? <laughs> when, oh my gosh. And, would and that actually, one, like if I was to tread over that. What, that's probably not a good idea. No, so that would literally <laughs> like. <laughs> well, I don't want to ruin your investment, Marcus. <laughs> Wine, but beautiful architecture as well, Lou. When was it finished? Because this is very new, right? We opened in August, but it was finished before then. So look at what's 90% done by this time last year. Gosh, I love this entrance. It, and this was one of the last bits. This sort of bit, the path, and it was the landscaping, sowing the seed oh, yeah. for the grass. Wonderful. Gosh, that window there is just amazing. That frame out to the vineyard. Oh, wow. I love this treatment of the brick. The way this is just acted as its own natural display. I love that. Probably not something I would have chosen. Yeah. Or would have, I didn't have brick in mind. Platting, yes. Yeah. That, that sort of thing. And yeah. It was Pippa who came up with the idea of using brick and we've used it really heavily, but it's worked really well. It really, it really does. Like it's very grounding and it has a wonderful feeling with it, but it works beautifully with that timber. So I love it. That's it is a, fun. It's yeah. been a great time. Yeah, that's Joe. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The label's done by a graffiti artist in Sydney, a guy called Sydney Sin. Oh my God, I love that. <laughs> Chardonnay and a Pinot girl, so but I'm gonna to have to try that and I reckon a stony rice Chardonnay. There isn't any right or wrong when it comes to what you're tasting. Yeah. Um, at all because it's um, personal choice. It's yeah. like a piece of art. It's yeah. you know, what appeals to one may not appeal to another. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Every day. 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 Every day.
had such a good day. We had a sleep in this morning, went for a walk along the Cataract Gorge. Crack and walk, um, how's that hill? Bloody straight up. Zigzag track was really yeah. cool, I liked it. And our delivery has just arrived of popcorn and bread and ice, except I ate the popcorn so it doesn't exist anymore. And you <laughs> gnawed on the end of the bread. <laughs> just a little bit, but I'm gonna make take advantage of this epic ice cube delivery and have a cheeky before dinner drink because tonight we're actually going to Black Cow for dinner, which will be fancy. And James, a sommelier who's also a part owner at Stillwater, is going to meet us there and talk wine and meat, I think. Oh my word. Ah, so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is amazing for real. I often tend to judge a bottle by its wine label. I know that's really bad, but I'm, you know, it's that's the designer I'll, I'll, I'll in me. I would say 90. Uh, and, you know, I'm not a stats man, but I'd say 90% of the market do. Yeah. Uh, and that's why I guess a lot of the, the bigger guys spend so much time um, developing, developing labels. <laughs> but, I mean, there's a, there's, a, there's a crazy thing. I mean, a lot of the old world wines from Spain, yeah, the labels are, are quite old school. Yeah. A lot of the guys still try and mimic that. Yeah. Because it's what we live. But then I feel like then you know what you're sort of getting. So I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm like, that one's trendy. Let's support a young independent yeah. business. But is that, that's, that's just I'll me show you. <laughs> the one that arrived yesterday, super, yeah. super small quantity. So this is a collaboration. Ooh, that's a beautiful label. Yeah, so it's a collaboration between <gasps> Steve and Mark Lubiana, so father and son. And oh, that, that so logo is epic. It's called Deep Valley, so. Oh my lord, look at that. That is cool. So this is mm. Sam Conu's Riesling from Stargazer at Culver Valley. So Sam Conu, I think, is um, yep. one of Australia's best winemakers, let alone best female winemakers. I'm going to copy you because <laughs> I don't want to look like I don't know what I'm doing. A guy called Dr. Andrew Peary taught me something I've never ever forgotten about putting your nose in a glass of wine. Right. So you completely detach your brain to pretend you've walked into your pantry at home. Okay. What aromas you're smelling. So right. we tend to have mind over matter with wine and particularly the, the brass button culture of yeah. wine going, I yeah. should smell X, Y, Z. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't smell anything. I mean, oh. you might know what lavender smells like. I may never smell lavender in my life. So I'll throw my nose in this glass. I just get beautiful white flowers, lemon, lime, fresh cut red apple. I'm only getting that when you say it. <laughs> that's, 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 that's okay though. Like, Is that all right? I'm I've, like... I've seen this wine, you know, 25 times. The catalog okay. in my brain, so yeah. like, uh, uh, obviously. You've got the catalog. I yeah. have the catalog. Well, you yeah. do. You, I feel like yeah. I've only got a couple of. You chapters. add into the catalog. <laughs> yeah. So I'll set the scene. It's a Friday night. You magically don't have work on so you get home you open the fridge or the cellar what are you drinking beer beer that's just your go-to what's okay. your favorite beer uh bogues red done I love it. so you're just like wine is for work beer is, is for home, beer is for home yeah. like and, and my cellar at home constitutes of like i'm talking three to four bottles and my wife bashes her head against the wall about it. No, it's, like, like, it's, like the mechanic, my... it's like the mechanic that drives the shitty car or the, yeah. the builder that can't finish his house. She's like, where is my beautiful wine cellar? What is so happening? People go, you must have 30,000 bottles at home. She's like, no, we've got one bottle of cooking wine and, and one, red. one bottle of range and a case of cooking. <laughs> so this is what quite often said, this is not a kitchen, this is a cupboard. This is so So we cool. had a couple of judges from MasterChef dining a couple of years ago. Like, Where's the kitchen? This is oh not the kitchen. Oh my gosh. So these guys do a fantastic job in such a small space. Hey. This is our How hot is it in there? Because I'm feeling the heat from here. Oh my gosh. Stop. 
Okay, ginger soy jelly, nori crisp, and fresh wasabi gravy. Oh my gosh, this looks beautiful. <laughs> Scallops from St. Helen, cooked with panko crumb butter. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Mm. Oh, Jono. I'm gonna try that, Jono. I will try. Oh my god. That's beautiful. I did my crazy eyes again. <laughs> when my eyes roll back in my head, yeah. that's when it's good. <laughs> no. How was your meal? So <laughs> I need to go lie down. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. oh my god, that was so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're on King Island. Very excited. Oh wow, what an entrance. We can do some spots and oysters first, and then you can do dumplings if you would like. Wonderful. Let's do that. Yeah. And how many oysters do you Why want? are you looking at me like that? No, don't they? No. Not. I'm just looking at you. I'm taking control yeah, go of the for situation. It. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm thinking about you and your belly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what a woman. <laughs> Thank you. Someone else needs to have a wine with me. I feel elitist and wrong. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to have wine, but...